Live. We're lighting and we're rolling. Hi everybody and welcome to On Point Live. Vince Ferragamo here with Jack and Say. We're here at SoFi Stadium and we're uh, excited to be watching this big matchup because it's the return of Cooper Cup, Jackie, for the Rams. And uh, they got to play one of the toughest teams in football, the Philadelphia Eagles. As we were approaching the stadium, we saw Philly West, right, Jackie? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't again. believe it. Once again, it's always. like that every time. Every time. But Jackie, as we're here today, though, Philadelphia is 4 0. They come into town. But the Raiders seem to be playing pretty good football. They're and now with the well. resurgence of the passing attack with Cook and the floor, they've got Cooper Cup coming aboard. This could be a big help for this team, Jackie. It's, it's going to be a big help for this. I, 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 I can't figure out how they're going to go about doing it. Usually when you have a guy like Cooper Cup or, or Puka, you need to have guys running routes on the field that takes the top off the coverage so these guys can work underneath. And for me, I just, it's, you know, I'm trying to imagine how is John McVay going to incorporate Puka and Cooper, both the same type route runners underneath stuff, uh, you know, then within the same, uh, at the, on the field at the same time. Well, you mentioned the top coverage, okay? They're going to have two great guys underneath, so they can do a lot of things horizontally, in Jackie, in their offense to really create a lot of pass plays for Matthew Stafford. Plus, Tyler Hinton should have a big game because the Eagles pass defense is like very poor against, against the wide, against the tight end, and the slot receivers. So this really goes well for the Rams. It, it really does. And Tyler Higby, he, he, he's, about, he's due for a breakout game. Right. You know, the other thing we got to take a look at and, and, and be really pleased to see is that the Rams shook up their offensive line. They got no room in there at the left tackle. Alar Jackson, their left starting left tackle, was on the men. I think he did his hamstring or something. And, and the kid from uh, a villa, the left guard, has, been, has played. He hasn't given up a sack all, all season long. Really so the right side over there is doing well. Dobson that they brought in and traded from Pittsburgh came in and started doing the signaling for the silent count right away. So you know he's a smart guy, a big physical guy that can play. So I think their offensive line is kind of headed in the right direction. Now for me this week, the offensive line, I think the primo offensive line in pro football right now is the Philadelphia Eagles. Sure. They gotta be the best offensive line. You gotta look at it that way. Their quarterback is playing better over the last two weeks. Jalen Hurts has had over 300 yards passing in each of those games and run for a touchdown or two. So this is where Aaron Donald is going to have to step it up. And that crew with him is going to have to do a fantastic job of supporting him, particularly with Lions stunts, so that he can get in that backfield and get on Jaden and Hurst start, start chasing him down. That's going to be a big, big, at the line of scrimmage this week on both sides of the Rams, this is where I think they're going to be primarily challenged. Jack, you raised a lot of good points. You know, this is a pass happy league nowadays. And, you know, both quarterbacks now are coming into their own. Jalen Hurts last week threw for 319 yards. His big target was A.J. Brown, you know, with 135 yards passing. Right. Jack. That's so two, he's a two, big-time player. Two weeks in a row now, after that little spat they had on the sideline, <laughs> that he's gone over 130 yards. That's a good idea to have both yeah, maybe. guys get in front of each other. Absolutely. But, you know, on the other hand, too, you got Matt Stafford over 300 yards in three of the four games, Jackie. So, there could be a lot of fireworks. Yeah, we got to watch his hip. You know, that hip and yeah, well, got. That, that'll be important, too, Jackie. But, you know, another really interesting topic, Jackie, that we just got really done. Uh, this is going to be good. Well, we'll just go a couple more <laughs> seconds here because Peyton Manning, this is a, a sideline, Jackie, uh -huh. he's coaching his oh, son yeah, I read in middle that. school, okay? This is the funny for our viewers, okay? You know who their offensive running back coach is? It's Tyrell Davis. Tyrell Davis, yeah. Okay, so now they have over 200 half plays in their offense for middle school. I read that. And he's got a wristband on. A wrist, okay, a the middle wristband school and a wristband. You remember when I, you and I coached Matthew, your son. Yeah, right? yeah. Our team had We had wristbands. But we didn't but, have no 200 plays on it. Yeah, but you know what? Give them playbooks. I even give my grandson a playbook now, Jackie, and it's great to teach them the philosophy of the game. It's a myth class. Yeah, Jackie, it is. You know? It is a myth class. And that's what they'll need to do anything. So, but anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much our take for today's game. Hope you enjoy this game today, and go Rams, because I think they'll have a good game today. And don't forget, always stay, stay on point. point.